Welcome back to another video here on Freewell Photos. Today, we're taking a look at one of the new features inside of On One Photo Raw 2026, and that's the ability to sort or truncate our filters dialog box. And this is actually a really cool way of getting organized and staying in the creative workflow and only finding the filters that you care to use. I will make note that I am using pre-release software, so that means some things may look a little different when the full version is released on October 13th, 2025. If that's something you're interested in picking up, consider using the coupon code FREEWILL10. It'll save you some money when you check out, and I make a small commission. It's a win-win for both of us. Now let's jump into the computer and take a look at sorting our filters. So here we are inside of On One Photo Raw, and we're gonna go ahead and jump over to the Effects tab, which I'm already on, and then we'll click the Add Filter. When you click that, you get the dialog box and you can see right away, I have some hearts on some of these filters. And yes, that does exactly what you think it's going to do. And we're gonna get into that. What I wanna point out is instead of having all of our filters listed alphabetically across the range, what On One has done is they've categorized each of the filters into essentially four categories, essentials, creative, landscape, and legacy. All right, now they're alphabetical in each of those categories, but if you're looking for a particular tool and you know, you're not quite sure where it is, yes, you will have to get used to these new categories. However, it's pretty straightforward because they are alphabetical by category. The essentials category has pretty much all of the tools that you would use to correct your image or enhance it technically. And then creative does exactly what you think. It adds in those creative things. Uh, I like to think of this as these are the things that just set your photo over the edge, all right? These things get your image like technically correct. The creative aspect, it sets it over the edge. And then of course you have this landscape section, which, you know, hopefully in the future we start to see more of these tools uh, broken down into different categories. So for this landscape one, maybe we'll see something that is more oriented towards portraits or uh, other categories. I'm not quite sure, but Nonetheless, we do have this landscape category and, you know, we'll probably see that grow over the time, but it's nice to see that it is broken down this way. And then, of course, you have legacy. And these are filters that have been in on one for a long, long time. All right. And yes, I have the bleach bypass favorite it because I do love that particular filter to add a filter to your favorites. All you have to do is hover over it and then you'll see a unshaded heart. You can click this heart and it'll add it to your favorites. It's that easy. What this allows you to do is two things. First, you can use it exactly how I have it set up here. And I think this is going to be my preferred method of using this particular tool, just to have a visual cue next to the filters that I use most commonly. But also, if I don't wanna see any of these other tools, because maybe that's just too much mental clutter for me, I can come down here to the search bar and to the far right, you'll see a little heart. When I click that, it cleans up all of those other filters that I don't have a heart next to. So I'm only looking at the filters that I actually care to use or that are in my favorites. And this is a great way of just being able to streamline your workflow so you don't have to use extra uh, thought process to figure out which filters you want to use. I really do appreciate this tool right here. Now, I'm gonna uncheck this because again, I do like to have access to all of the tools and that's just because I've been using On One for a long time. But I can understand that if you're new to On One and this could be overwhelming and there's too many filters and you only wanna use maybe five of them, well, you can put a heart on five of them, click this little heart and it will uh, truncate that list to just those five filters. Now, the other tool that we have available to us is if you want to truncate this list even further, you can come over here to the three line menu. And when you click on it, you have two options. You have this show legacy filters and then you have show description. 
And those do exactly what you would think. If you have a check mark next to it, it's going to show these legacy filters. So I'm going to uncheck it and you'll notice my legacy filters, they went away. This is super helpful if you're working on a smaller computer screen and you don't want to take up a whole lot of real estate when this window pops up, then that is a tool that's available to you to keep your real estate or your computer real estate, uh, your computer screen real estate, I can speak, um, it keeps that clear, all right? I'm gonna leave it showing because I do like to see all of my filters. And then the second drop down here is show description. And that's this little area over here with the image and then the description of what the tool does. I recommend leaving this on if you're new to on one and you're trying to figure out what a tool does. So if you turn it off, then you lose any context to what that particular tool does. All right. And if you're not new to on one, then by all means, turn it off because you probably know which tools you're looking for. And of course, if you truncate it by putting your favorites into uh, or favoriting your your filters, you can really truncate this list and make it really small. So essentially you could get it down to something this big and make it a lot easier for you to navigate your filters and choose your effects. So I'm really excited for this particular feature, but again, I'm going to leave mine set like this. And this would be my recommendation to the long-term users or people who are uh, more familiar with on one, maybe you could get rid of the description. So you could probably get something like this. But for me, I'm used to having this pop out over my image and I'm not really trying to get back any of that screen real estate because when this window pops up, I'm not really doing anything else. Now, On One Photo Raw is releasing October 13th, 2026, as I mentioned earlier in today's video. If you want to pick it up and save some money along the way, consider using the coupon code FREEWILL. 10. It'll save you some money. I make a small commission, but that's a no extra charge to you. It's a win-win great way of supporting this channel. Now, of course, if you would love to learn how to use on one photo raw and you want someone to kind of look over your shoulder, consider signing up for a training call with me. A link for that can be found in the description box below. Until the next time, I want you to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.